What's up my squids? Today is the day, at least it's supposed to be the day, that I'm gonna do my 66 inch hurdle jump. It's always been this little side goal of mine to jump a 66 inch hurdle. As I mentioned in the previous episode, my record is 63 inches, so over a 30 day period, I had to increase three inches on that hurdle height. Now today is day 30, but I got a bit of a story to tell you. So last week, I was at week three, training was going great. Again, I was in phase four of vert code, I was trying to build that spring. My Achilles tendon felt more springy than it's ever felt in my life. My RSI scores were through the roof on my jumps. Uh, my plyometrics were looking really good. But then I had to take a quick break in my training because I had to go to Florida. Well, in Florida, one, I didn't really get to train much. I was too busy to train. I didn't eat great. So remember, I was trying to lose at least five pounds. I thought for sure I needed to lose that five pounds to get over the hurdle. Well, I was already down about four and I was making good progress, but I didn't eat great and I also didn't train. But the worst part about it is I got sick in Florida. So I came down with this bad cold, negative for COVID. And so my final week of training, the most important week was really, really bad. So all in all, I would say that I'm not prepared to do the 66 inch jump. But let me give you a little bit of a curveball. I already did the 66 inch jump. Week three, at the end of one of my workouts, I went out and I said, you know what? Let me just try a 60 inch. I flew over the 60 inch. Then I did it out of a push up one step, which is extremely hard to build momentum and jump over the 60 inches. So I said, you know what? Let me go up a little bit more. I went to 63 inches, killed it. I said, you know what? Let me add another pad and let me just do the 66 inch jump right now. I failed a couple times. My feet hit the bar a couple times. My hips hit the bar once and then something magical happened. I got it. And let's watch my first ever 66 inch jump. So I came at a little bit of a curve. Pretty good penultimate step, redirected me nice and low. I got my 90 degree knee angle. Hips hit the bar a little bit, but not enough for it to fall over. I just hit the 66 inch hurdle. That's four, the box is four, the pad is two, hurdles are 60. I'm not a math guy, but that's 66 inches. Boom, we're done. I'm out, goal accomplished, right? Well, not so fast because I measured it and it was only 65 inches. First, you have to see my celebration and see how happy I was. You see the run? I ran under the bar. That's how you know the bar is high when I can just run right under it. And then I ran right into the mini golf. Rumor has it, he never came back. But I did come back and I measured it and it was only 65 inches because I'm an idiot and I didn't put it all the way at the top. So I was missing an inch at the top of the hurdle. So I had to add a whole nother pad to make it a true 66 inches. This time I measured it before I jumped and I failed. I think I failed three or four times. Oh. And I was kind of starting to think that maybe I'm not gonna get this 66 inch, but then I went to the film. I started looking at what I'm doing. I realized my block step was terrible. It wasn't steep enough and it wasn't rigid enough. And so it wasn't popping me straight vertical. So over a hurdle, you need vertical and a little bit of horizontal, but I was going way too horizontal. And it's because I had a mushy block foot. And so I did this primer drill that we use in the vert code. Anybody who's on our vert code program uh, has done the deceleration drill where we use the band and we take that penultimate step. And then because of the band pulling you forward, you have to put on the brakes with that rigid block foot. And so I did a couple sets of that and got that block foot nice and primed. And then I went back into the 66 inch hurdle attempt and guess what happened? I did it. So this is me putting up the bar. You can see that it looks like it's almost over my head. It's 66 inches. I measured 5'10 with these barefoot shoes on, uh, which is, I'm not a math guy, 70 inches. And so I'm only four inches above this hurdle. And so it's pretty intimidating when you put it on and it's right there in front of your eyes. So you can see I got my good approach, got my good high arm swing, block foot came aggressive enough, got my good knee angles and I got over the hurdle. I did it, 66 inch jump. I really had doubts in my mind when I started this 30 day challenge. I'm 31 years old now, why would I break my record now? 
Typically, we think of people declining after age 25. It's just not true. It's not that our fast twitch actually decline after 25. It's that we slow down. We go get desk jobs and we sit around and we don't go train explosively and we go do endurance stuff for exercise. You got to stay explosive. And if you do, and if you train explosive, you're gonna maintain those fast twitch. If you train the right way with your plyos, you're gonna maintain elasticity. You can maintain and even build your explosiveness well into your 30s. And on the Burt Code, we have people even doing it in their 40s. So I don't care how old you are, I don't care where you're at in your athletic journey, you are not maxed out. There is another level that you can get to. It's gonna take consistency, it's gonna take hard work, and it's gonna take smart work, right? But we all have untapped potential that is just waiting for us to go out and get it so hey guys appreciate your support all your comments you know backing me on this journey even though it's a weird goal like who wants to jump a 66 inch hurdle? such a weird thing but it was meaningful for me and a lot of you guys supported me on my journey i've now accomplished everything that i could ever imagine with my vertical jump after being in high school and not even being able to dunk i mean i could barely snap the rim my senior year of high school Going into college, I still couldn't dunk. And then to be able to transform and come out throwing down windmill dunks, 360 dunks. And then now at 31 years old doing stuff like this, I've done just about everything that I set out to do with my vertical jump. The only thing left to do now is become faster than prime John Wall. Training starts tomorrow. Let's get it.